Havoc Squad calling General Garza. Objective complete. The ambush was a success. Excellent news, Major. Rakton will think twice about sending reinforcements that way again. Locke and I have relocated to a Republic safe house in Axial Park. Report here immediately for new orders. Our forces will be arriving soon, and we need to clear them a safe landing zone. Reporting in is a waste of time. Run me through the op now. We can't trust the comms, Major. Get here on the double. Garza out. Major, good. Let's get straight to it. Captain Ferris is returning with our forces, and we need to clear them a place to land. The best bet here in Axial Park is the Corellian Museum of Starships. They have a big open-air landing pad that our people can slip right onto. Unfortunately, that landing pad is occupied by a famous Corellian warship, the Lucky Lancer. We need you to deal with it. What do you want me to do with some busted old ship? I'd prefer you simply destroy it, but Locke seems to feel it's very valuable. The Lucky Lancer is the most famous Corellian ship in the galaxy. We can't just blow it up to clear a parking spot. Look, I've got volunteers ready and willing to fly the Lancer out and hide it someplace safe. All you have to do is escort them to the museum. Escort missions are risky and time-consuming. Destroying the ship is a far better option. Blasting this thing is going to be a lot of fun. You know what? I give up on you people. It's like you're in a race with the imps to do the most damage. We can't win this war with one hand tied behind our backs. What's the point of winning if we destroy everything we have in the process? Enough. We don't have time for this. Major, here are the explosives. Be sure to report in when the job is done. Havoc Squad calling General Garza. Operation complete. Landing zone is clear. Excellent work, Major. I'll let Captain Ferris know immediately. Yeah. And be sure to let her know how you got this VIP landing pad. She'll be thrilled. I could tell you were trouble right from the start. At least my part of this is done. Without you around, we can finally get something done. I just hope you do half as much damage to Rackton as you did getting to him. So long. I'm relocating to a Republic safe house in the Draw Library for the final phase of our plan, Major. Before you report here, sweep the area around the museum for any Imperial sensor emplacements. We can't afford to have our plans discovered now. Garza out. Major, excellent work. The Safecrackers and the 53rd Armored have already touched down, and the extra dropships you captured are bringing in the 81st Infantry. Our strategy has unfolded perfectly. Now, it's time to put the final phase into motion. The imps had better start interviewing for a new head general. We're very close now, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Before the full assault can begin, your team must complete two final objectives. The first is to block General Rakton's communications. Once Havoc has placed signal jammers at key locations outside the Bastion walls, we can cut off all comm traffic. Can't the forces we brought in help with this stuff? Backup was brought in to help with the assault, not the preparations for the assault. When the jammers are in position, Havoc can proceed to the second objective, breaching the Bastion Gate. The gate is effectively impervious to frontal assault, so you'll need to commandeer an Imperial crawler tank and use it to pass through undetected. Grabbing a crawler isn't exactly a walk in the park. If you find hijacking an Imperial Crawler your most difficult task on Corellia, I'll be very disappointed. Major, excellent work. The Safecrackers and the 53rd Armored have already touched down, and the extra dropships you captured are bringing in the 81st Infantry. Our strategy has unfolded perfectly. Now, it's time to put the final phase into motion. The imps had better start interviewing for a new head general. We're very close now, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Before the full assault can begin, your team must complete two final objectives. The first is to block General Rakton's communications. Once Havoc has placed signal jammers at key locations outside the Bastion walls, we can cut off all comm traffic. 
If the Empire's top general drops off comms, they're going to notice. Based on the comm traffic we've measured so far, we're confident you'll have enough time to complete your objectives before anyone notices the blackout. The gate is effectively impervious to frontal assault, so you'll need to commandeer an Imperial crawler tank and use it to pass through undetected. I'm always up for joyriding in a hundred-ton war machine. Try not to get carried away. Scouts have spotted a crawler operating at these coordinates with a minimal escort. It's your best bet. Once you've ridden the walker through the Bastion Gate, you'll secure the gate controls, then contact me via Holo to begin the final assault. Is everything clear? This is your most ridiculous plan yet, Garza. And the best plan available to us, Major. Time is tight. That crawler won't be in the field forever. Set your jammers and get there as quickly as possible. Don't let anything slow you down. Dismissed, and good luck. Havoc calling General Garza. Objective complete. The Bastion Gate is secure. Excellent work, Major. Everything we fought so hard to achieve is finally within reach. Our forces will rendezvous with you inside the Bastion shortly. Once they do, the operation will be in your hands. I cannot lead this final push from the outside, Major. I'm counting on you to assess Rafton's defenses and lead our forces to victory. Nice to know you finally trust me to command more than five people. Drop the sarcasm, Major. A field commander has no time for it. Remember, General Rafton is one of the greatest enemies the Republic has ever faced. He is a very dangerous man, both mentally and physically. He plans to use the information in the Bastion's databanks to command an unstoppable campaign against us. You must not fail. I'm going to cut a path of destruction straight into Rackton's face. Discretion is just as important as aggression. Don't lose sight of the overall tactical situation. The finest military units available are under your command now. Your Republic is counting on you to put them to good use. Good luck, Major. Garza out. Major, all personnel and equipment are up to protocol and ready to begin operations. Good of you to invite the safe crackers out for the main event this time, Major. This will be the biggest fortress we've busted yet. The 81st couldn't be happier to be here. Between this up and Voss, your face will end up as our unit emblem. Everybody ready to take out some imps? Es mi vel cotila fo leonas eje et lendo logas volt hoge. Intel shows three routes to the Bastion's main complex. Aerial scans confirm. And Rakton has different defenses set up on each route. First approach, we've got walkers and war droids. On the second, a full infantry company. And the last one has all the fun toys. Mines, turrets, you name it. Captain, any thoughts on how to proceed? Imperial doctrine teaches that Republic tactics favor combined directed assaults rather than the broader tactics favored by the Empire. We should use their expectations to our advantage and surprise them by attacking all three routes at once. We'll pick the weakest defenses, round up all of our forces and blast straight through to Rakton. I say we mix it up. The safe crackers aren't afraid of a few walkers. What about your guys, Captain? It'll be tough, but the 81st came equipped for anything. Plus, if we go, you can save Lesher's walkers to flatten the imp infantry. I'll deal with the enemy armor myself. You must be crazy. Suit yourself, Major. Route 2 is all infantry, a full company. They're dug in and ready to fight. Since you're handling the big guys, that leaves infantry and armor for this. Who do you want to take on their infantry? I'll let the two of you settle it. Aragogo, valtozot tompa boros nel, kulgazas is nel kul. 
The safe crackers and the 81st can handle the automated defenses. Sound good to you, Captain? Whatever it takes, Lieutenant. One of General Rackton's most celebrated victories involved sending elite commandos behind his attackers via speeder to flank and disorient them. I suggest holding most of Havoc's squad back in case he tries a similar tactic here. All units can then regroup upon breaching the main complex. In the middle of that fortress, the most dangerous Imperial alive is planning our destruction. It's our job to blast everything and everyone who gets between us and that man. Is that clear? Sir. Yes, sir. Move out. Jorgen here. Rackton's flank team is history. We're gonna move up and sweep for any leftovers. See you inside. Out. Report. What's the status of our forces? Havoc Squad is at full operating status. Zero casualties. Disabling the defenses was slow going, but straightforward enough. No losses. We've got a lot left to do, people. Don't go patting yourselves on the back just yet. There's no telling what else the imps might have in store. So stay sharp and hold this ground no matter what. Fell race. Report. What's the status of our forces? Havoc Squad is at full operating status. Zero casualties. Disabling the defenses was slow going, but straightforward enough. No losses. We've just captured one of the most heavily entrenched fortresses in the entire Republic. Everyone take a breather, check your gear, and make sure you're ready if things get crazy again. You got it, Major. In all likelihood, General Rackton is directing his forces from the command center. It can be found at these coordinates. I'm ready to proceed when you are, Major. The one worthy opponent in the entire Republic. Ironically, outmaneuvering all of my plans to save the Republic's people. Can you not see your corrupt and weak-minded leaders are dragging you down? Your Republic will fall, by the hands of the Empire or by the weight of its own decadence. The end is inevitable. Why prolong the suffering? Is this how you greet everyone you meet? You think this is a joke? You're nothing but a slave to a cult of insane tyrants. I am ruled by those more powerful than myself. This is only logical. You are ruled by liars and thieves, whose only power is popularity. The people of the Republic are crushed by bureaucracy, neither encouraged nor allowed to reach their fullest potential. Under Imperial rule, your people will be free to excel, to take charge of their own fates. I will give your people the future they deserve. You want to conquer the galaxy for its own good. The people of the Republic are cowed and complacent when they could be fully engaged in the great works of the Empire. I didn't come here to listen to you ramble, Rackton. No. It was too much to expect you to see through your indoctrination and accept a better way of life. With the intel I've collected here, I can wage a war so destructive that your Republic will fall in a matter of months. So I offer this. Return to your masters. Convince them to surrender unconditionally. Avoid millions of deaths trying to prevent a victory that would free your people. I have you, Rackton. You expect me to just leave now? You actually think you can beat me? Why does no one see sense even after all this time? I hope the image of your corpse will encourage your subordinates to see reason where you could not. Here's my counteroffer, Rackton. So be it. So this is how it ends. A lifetime of service to the greatest cause in galactic history. What happens now? A simple execution? Or will the last civilized man be paraded through the streets of Coruscant as a trophy for your ignorant masses? Dragging you through the streets sounds pretty good. Disgusting. Your people are beneath contempt. Now, you die. General Rackton has finally been beaten. This will send shockwaves through the entire Empire. Major, serious heat's coming in. The scanners are completely off the... Whoa! Is that... Was that him? Ignore the corpse and give me a sit rep, soldier. Somehow the imps have figured out that Rackton's off comms. They're sending everything they've got this way. It's too much to handle, sir. 
With respect, I think we better bug out. Everyone has their evac points set, and you've just got to get the word, Major. If none of you are willing to fight, I guess we better run. Uh, apologies if you're disappointed, sir, but with the job done, nobody sees any point in dying here. Don't leave anything behind for the Empire except corpses. Understood, sir. We'll make it happen. It's been a real honor, Major. See you next time. Major! Welcome back! General, the Major's here! Not a moment too soon. Come with me, Major. We're supposed to be in the Supreme Chancellor's office ten minutes ago. I'm really not in the mood to chat with bureaucrats, General. Nobody is interested in your mood, Major. When the Supreme Chancellor calls, you answer. Come on! General Garza, hello. Please, come in. Make yourself comfortable. And Major, so good to see you again. It seems I can't blink without you winning yet another incredible victory for us. You want to tell me why I'm here? I only wanted to congratulate you on your victory. Defeating General Rakton was no small task. I didn't become fully aware of Havoc Squad's achievements until I took office. Your service to the Republic has been truly remarkable. For your exemplary service in the defense of the Republic, you are hereby awarded the Chancellor's Service Medal. Congratulations, Major. Finally, some real recognition. I hope you haven't felt slighted up until now. The Republic certainly appreciates your work. With Rakdon gone, the Imperial military is weaker than ever. For the first time in many years, we have the advantage. If I have to hunt down every last imp myself, I will. Even disadvantaged, the Empire is not done yet. Much work remains before the galaxy is safe. We are all fortunate to have defenders as skilled and clever as yourselves. Meeting with you has been a very great pleasure. I wish you good fortune in all your future missions, and know that the Republic is proud of everything you've achieved. Thank you very much for your time, Your Excellency. General? Major? Welcome back. How did your meeting go? Very well. The Supreme Chancellor was impressed with the Major's accomplishments. You really have gone above and beyond the call of duty, Major. A trinket and a thank you? That's my reward? If one of the highest awards in the Republic, and the personal thanks of the Supreme Chancellor aren't enough, then you're out of luck. As I said, our work doesn't end here. Imperial forces are already regrouping on Ilum and elsewhere. And though you were honored today, the killing of Senator Zion hasn't been forgotten. It's best if you keep a low profile for the time being. What are your plans, Major? What will we do now? I'd say it's time to find out who wants to buy the heroes some drinks. Who's in? You know you can always count on me, boss. Somebody's got to keep you from getting in too much trouble. I'll go. Just be sure to keep your hollow close by, Major. When the next crisis comes, Havoc Squad will get the first call. <laughs> 